Welcome to Demo Deathmatch, the only game show on the internet where eight demos enter and one leaves. The checkout! The runner-up also gets on my wish list or store equivalent. Today, we'll be demoing Heroes Hour, the pixelated auto battler. Peglin, the legally distinct peggle-like roguelike RPG that I happen to like. Orcs, the card-based, board-based, or killing base builder. Diplomacy is not an option, a game that's exactly what it says. Beneath Orisa, more cards for another roguelike. Shotgun King, the final checkmate. All hail the king, baby, with a shotgun. Spider Heck, when hell rejects even spiders. And finally, Epic Story, an epic story of a typing game. Will it live up to the name? So strap yourselves in, place your bets, and comment below on who you think is gonna win. Let's get ready for the first Demo Deathmatch! <laughs> Round 1. This will be the easiest and quickest and obviously the most unfair round of the lot, as I'll pretty much be booting up the game and seeing if it catches my eye. Or, in the event that both games don't, I'll give them a second chance until I get tired of one and declare the survivor the winner. Either way, starting with two games that take clear influences from other, more AAA titles. Heroes Hour is what you get when you take Heroes of Might and Magic and make it pixelated. Well more pixelated. To be honest, I've never really played Heroes of Might and Magic, so I'm not too sure how much Heroes Hour borrows from the AAA title. Now let's compare it to Peglin, which is Peggle, but with RPG roguelike mechanics. You shoot a ball and it bounces around, igniting all those pleasure centers in my brain. The conclusion. Peglin wins by a landslide. Now don't get me wrong, Heroes Hour is great and all, but I haven't played any Heroes of Might and Magic to enjoy it enough. The surface of the game just simply doesn't tickle my fancy. On the other hand, Peglin is a roguelike, something I absolutely love to an unfair degree. On to the next fight, this time between Orcs and Diplomacy is not an option. To begin with, Orcs is a management game where you use a deck of cards to build roads, castles, and various other stuff to make a defense. Kinda like a violent version of Carcassonne. Now, diplomacy is not an option, looks like an Age of Empire clone, but with no diplomacy. The fact that there's an option in the option menu to change diplomacy gets me a chuckle. The conclusion? Orcs, by a minuscule amount, wins. Both are games about building up a defense and waiting for the enemy to come. Alva, Diplomacy is not an option, feels like an Age of Empire game, whereas I've never played anything like Orcs, despite comparing it to Carcassonne. That said, Diplomacy is not an option still gets an honorable mention for the laugh it gave me. Seriously, look at that menu option! Moving on, we have Beneath Arissa vs. Shotgun King, the final checkmate, and isn't that a title worth saying again and again? To begin with, Beneath Arissa is a deck-building, dungeon-delving game. I'm a huge fan of Slay the Spire, so this is right up my alley. Shotgun King, the final checkmate, and once again, I love saying that name, is another turn-based game, another roguelite, but this time with more squares in both the gameplay department and the graphics. It's chess, but with more gun. They're both very interesting concepts, however, I'm not the biggest fan of chess, and not because I'm terrible at it, although that probably doesn't help. And Beneath Arissa has an unfair advantage in that it's basically Slay the Spire, except in 3D! The winner, Arissa! Beneath Arissa, you know what I mean. On to the next round, we have Spider Heck versus Epistory. Spider Heck looks like Stick Fight the Game, only with more spiders and everything that might entail. Epistory, Typing Chronicles, a typing game of some sort. I always loved the idea behind games like these entertainment type stuff. I'll be honest, I expected Spider Heck to just be another Stick Fight clone and that's it. But with its web slinging mechanics and PvE mode, it's so much more than just that. Also, Epistory, while fairly straightforward in execution, is kind of annoying to play in parts. You see, you have the ability to toggle between movement and typing mode. However, the thing is, 
I kept finding myself toggling to typing mode on and off constantly to find things that were interactive, and while I appreciated the gameplay for what it was, it was too much filler in between. The winner, therefore, is Spider Heck. Moving on to the second bracket, where all our winning games go on to the next series of rounds. The first round is Peglin versus Orcs. Green Monster Game against Green Monster Game. After finishing off the final boss of the demo in Peglin, I kept on going back for more. Again and again and again and again. Even defeat made me want more. Something about getting different balls and trinkets with their varied combinations was addictive. Just talking about it makes me want to play it again. Then we have Orcs. It's a nice game and for a while I did enjoy it but it's starting to lose its flair for me. Keep in mind that this isn't an objective review of any of these games. This is just a first impression thing from a very subjective mind for demos. Sure, I'm unlocking more and more stuff, but I'm not really all excited to use said new stuff. I think it's just the round sizes, the round lengths, the amount of time it takes to play each game. You see, each round in Peglin is short and sweet, while Orcs is a literal siege every time. Getting and using the new stuff in Peglin is just quicker. I guess my basic brain just likes watching stuff bounce around more. So hold your head up high, Peglin. You move on to the finals. Let's see who faces you there. First of all, we have Beneath Arissa versus Spider Heck. Good lord, Beneath Arissa is a mess. The lack of keyword tooltips is annoying. When I mouse over a card, it highlights everything of note, but I have no idea what some of these keywords are. Then you have things outside of the cards, things like teamwork. If I get my teamwork stat high enough, will that give me an ally that does stuff? Sure, you can sort of guess what it does by looking at the screen to the right hand side, but it's not 100% clear. You have to guess at it first. Honestly, it's just a quality of life improvement sort of thing, and maybe it's fixed in the full release, but I find myself too ignorant to truly enjoy the game. Now you have Spider Heck. My feelings on the game remain the same as when I played it, meaning it beats up beneath the Rissa by default. So yay for spiders crawling upside down, shooting missiles, and using a gun slash crossbow thing that literally shoots lightsabers or <coughs> legally distinct laser swords is amazingly fun. Welcome to the final round, Peglin versus Spiderhack. Which one will be crowned the winner? Only one of them is entering the hall of actually owned Steam games, and the other will be cast down into the depths of the wish list. And maybe still get owned if I'm feeling generous. The answer might surprise you, but I choose. Peglin! Thing is, Spider Hex's main appeal to me is that it's a local multiplayer type game, the sort of thing you enjoy with friends. Considering current life events and distance of said friends whom I miss very dearly, I can't judge this game in its entirety. Peglin, on the other hand, is a purely single player experience and thus can easily be judged on its own merits. So sorry, Spider Heck, you'll have to be satisfied in the wish list. Wait. Spider Heck can't even be purchased anyways. It's, uh, not even released, huh? Even if I like Spider Heck more, Peglin would have won by default anyways. So congratulations, Peglin, the first winner of the first ever Demo Deathmatch Tournament. Hello everybody, my name is Freebuitz, and thank you for watching Demo Deathmatch. Please, comment below on what demos I should enter into the next demo deathmatch that's right there's going to be more of these in the future and more demos to play more demos to win more games to take first place and get purchased so i'll see you all next time have a wonderful day and bye bye